So I'm actually at my desk today because I took some time this weekend to um, kind of clean it up and organize it. It still needs some more organizing. I'm actually playing with the idea of moving my desk upstairs. If you watched um, my next plan with me that I will hopefully remember to upload tonight, um, at the end of it you see why I'm thinking of moving my desk away from where the children have access to it or at least less access, less unsupervised access to it. Um, so make sure you keep an eye out for that video. So, um, today I want to talk a little bit about screen-free parenting. I recently found a podcast that I really, really love. It's called Unruffled, and it's by Janet Lansbury, and she does, um, she uses she uses a parenting system by one specific person. She has a couple of books out. Um, I will look those up and then link all of that down below for you because I can't remember the names of it right now. Um, in that, she did a um, Truth About Screen Time podcast. It's about 30 minutes long. And it is, it's fantastic. I realized while listening that maybe a lot of the behavioral issues that my kids have could stem from how much screen time they get. And I really don't allow too much screen time. I really just don't. Um, but I have noticed that lately I've been falling back on it more than I would like. And so I started looking into, she the, the Screen Free podcast had a couple of guests on there and once again I can't remember their name but they have a website and the website is called screenfreeparenting.com and it is full of resources on the information and the research as far as um, screens and children go and tons and tons of activities that are available to you um, the spoil system um, is linked there I don't have like I'm not extremely knowledgeable on all of this yet so I'll make sure to link everything but you know it's basically um, social play, outdoor play, um, play time like independent free play, play time where they have no limits, stuff like that and these are things that they're supposed to be doing every single day but the cool part about that is it's like yeah five tasks that we can get done in one day that's impossible right well some of them can be combined, like the social play could be playing with you during an independent activity. So let's say they're doing some sort of sensory bin and you actually sit down with them and interact with them and do that play with them. So it's it really doesn't take up that much of your time and that much of your day. I have noticed though, in the beginning, um, really trying to cut out so much screen time for my kids has taken more of my time. There's some more prep work. There's some more um, encouraging of the kids, trying to explain why we're not having screens as much. Um, I, I like my screen time. You know, I, I it's my way of winding down. At the end of the day, I like to watch TV while I fold laundry. You know, things like that. So I'm not. i I think I'm leaning more towards the screen limiting parent side. Um, you know, I have a friend that has cut back to only 30 minutes a day, if that, which is fantastic. Um, of course, she only has one two-year-old, so um, hopefully, you know, if she starts adding to her family and she gets older, things like that. But I also do think that there can be an educational system, an educational component, I guess, to screens. But you have to, have to, have to be careful. Because, you know, I started out with screens with my four-year-old when she was about 15, 16 months old. I gave her a tablet and I gave her the, um, it was like a puzzle game for toddlers. And she figured that out so fast. I was absolutely shocked by that. And she, to this day, normal puzzles, loves them. I mean, puzzles that would be beyond her ability. She's really good at. But the trick is, I think, sitting down with your kids and enjoying that with them and encouraging it with them. 
um, really teaching them how to do it. Don't just like hand them the screen as a babysitter, although sometimes we have to do that. Like sometimes we just need a break and we just need 20 minutes while they watch a cartoon or something like that, you know? The parents on this website are remarkable. They have completely screen free kids and one of them is four and I don't, I mean, that's fantastic and but to me that has to require a lot of time on their part and so it's I mean like I said when it comes to parenting you have to figure out what works for you and your family but I will say that I really enjoy this website I really enjoy the activities that are provided in the website and I feel that if you are having some behavioral issues with things such as bedtime, listening, needing to be entertained constantly, and not really being able to play by themselves, um, if you have a lack of imagina imaginary play, like they're not um, using their imagination enough or have a difficult time understanding the difference between imagination and reality, the screens could be a contributor to that. So I encourage you to look into the research and see what you think. I would love to hear your comments and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.